having trouble what to write in my journal. Any tips? There's no rules, right? I mean, there's a few obvious things that you want to have in your journal, right? So you want to have the basics of the setup, right? So if you're doing your journal electronically, which you should be a picture of the chart before, after the risk reward tool on there, the entry, the stop, the take profit. What was the expected risk reward? Was it a win or a loss? What was the actual risk reward? Percentage gain, right? Like the actual data, have all of that shit, right? That's the bare minimum. You need the data. What actually happened in the trade? Were you right? Were you wrong? In terms of what else to write? Okay, why did you enter it? Where's your trading checklist? Did it tick off all the boxes, right? Okay ticked off box one through five on trading checklist. Bang. Now the rest is kind of up to you. I oftentimes like to write how I felt during the trade. Like if I'm writing in my journal about this silver trade, I'm going to say that poor execution led to this trade being a mental nightmare. I'm still underwater. I'm just about to break even. So I basically longed like here thinking that this was the, the, the dip, right? for the next leg up. Then we did this and I was like, okay, well, fuck. That's okay though, because I still think this is just a fake out, but I'm underwater. I'm like, if we reclaim this low, I'm feeling good. This is last night. I'm like, okay, beauty. I went to bed. I'm like, okay, I'm laughing. I'm in profit now and I woke up to this. And now we're in the same kind of thing. Okay, we reclaim the low again, but I think the low is now in, but this has been a mental roller coaster. So maybe you wanna write about how you're feeling during the trade. Were you wanting to TP early? Did you consider exiting early? Were you stressed? Right? So emotions and things that you're feeling because the better you get at identifying emotions, the easier they become to spot and then therefore control. If you know what it's like when you're feeling euphoric or when you're feeling FOMO, it becomes a whole lot easier to not act on those impulses, right?